This is a day in the life of a Japanese toy maker. This is Kana, 27 years old, living in Tokyo, and she's just waking up for work. She lives on her own in this 1LDK apartment. Her morning routine is fairly simple because like most Japanese, she prefers to take a bath at night. So getting ready is quick and finished after applying her makeup. Oh, she's wearing circle contact lenses, quite common in Japan. In fact, one out of four Japanese women in their 20s and 30s wear either circle or color contact lenses. I see what they're doing. How long does it take you to get ready? You don't eat breakfast? <laughs> Although she gets ready quickly, before she leaves the house, she makes sure to quickly check her personal email, as it's typical in Japanese business culture to only read work emails during work hours. Kana is originally from Aichi Prefecture but moved to Yamanashi Prefecture to attend university, majoring in regional sociology. Like many Japanese university students, she started her Shushoku Katsudo, aka job hunting, while in school and was able to secure employment before graduation, which led her to Tokyo to start her new life and career. And as a person who has a deep appreciation for all things cute and fun, she naturally found a fit at her job for the last four years as a toy planner. Hey y'all, we're doing another day in the life and this time with a Japanese toy maker. Kana should be coming on the next train. So excited for this one. Let's see how she's doing this morning. Good morning. So how did you sleep last night? She works at Sega Toys, creating some of the most popular toys in Japan, formed in 1998 from its parent company Sega, one of the largest video game and entertainment companies in the world. Although many of the Sega Sami companies are located in the same building, Sega Toys operates independently with 110 hardworking staff to create award-winning omocha, in English, toys, even with major brands like Anpan Man and Disney. So our first task of the day is to check emails. How long does it usually take? Can you show me a toy you created? Wow, I guess this is a stock room for previous products. So cute! Now, Kana has a weekly meeting where each member is responsible for sharing how their own project is coming along, such as schedule, milestones, as well as possible delays or issues. And these days, because of COVID, what was once highly found upon in Japanese business culture, online meetings with coworkers at home has become part of everyday business in Japan. Oh, it seems like they're done with the meeting. Where are you going now? So the company has a wellness system called Input Day, which allows employees to use up to 3,000 yen, about $26 every month, to experience new entertainment to help encourage creativity and understand new trends. <laughs> Oh, she's going somewhere. Where are you going? <laughs> Kana usually goes to lunch around this time, but since she has a bit more work in the office, she's gonna grab a little snack to tide her over. Fortunately, there's a convenience store in the building just a few floors down, fairly common for large office buildings in Japan. How many toys do you plan a year? <laughs> So it looks like Kana has a little bit more desk work, so while she's doing that, let's go toy around this place.
Ooh. All right, so this looks like the break area on this floor. They've got basic kitchen appliances and vending machines. Let's see what they have in the fridge. Oh, I guess people put their bentos in here. Wow, and check this out. This is the history of all the Sega arcade games. They even have the first one, the Sega 1000. Wow, check out this amazing view. Ooh, that guy's playing with toys. Hi, can I talk to you? Toys. What are you doing right now? えっと、チェーンレンサーシリーズものでいます。So you made this toy? はい、そうですね。チェーンレンサーの開発に携わっております。So what's chain rents are all about? チェーンレンサーはえっと電池を全く使ってなくてですね。Oh, I see. The little mini cars are propelled by the power of springs and slopes, and you can link together these mini tiles to make a unique track. Damn, the combinations must be endless. What was the hardest part about making this? すべての道が今この this is pretty cool seeing what everyone is doing. Let's see if we can find some more people. Hello. Hi. Can I ask what you're doing? What does this dog do? ここ。逆立ちして。Oh, it dances too! Apparently, Coco can understand and perform 24 different tricks. What was most challenging when making Coco? Apparently, Japanese kids have a distinct voice compared to other countries, so there aren't many existing programs made for them, so it was a challenge for her team to make the right adjustments. So which one did you choose? Thank you! Hello, can I ask you a question? Hi. What do you do here? Oh, you're the CEO? Why are you sitting in the same room as everyone? So what do you think is the most important thing when making a toy? Apparently, she was promoted to CEO this last April from the Global and Planning Division. Must be inspiring for the employees to see someone from within the company to become its leader. Hey, why are you reading a magazine? So Kana needs to produce four new toy ideas a month, about one idea per week. Everyone in her 12-person department set a goal for each term, and this is her goal for this term. In order to generate so many product ideas, it's critical for her to gather information on trends, in addition to personally test new toys on the market. Today, she's working on one of her new toy ideas using slime. Can I see what an idea board looks like? <laughs> so cool! Did you draw this? What are you doing now? It's also her job to help update the company's social media for toys she's managing. One of these toys is Mask Cook, where kids can design and personalize their own mask. Did you decide the color of the frame? Why blue? She says that the best part of her job is that she can think about ways to have fun while also being creative at the same time. In reality, it's not just her, but a sign of the company culture. She's surrounded by co-workers who likewise enjoy toys and entertainment. Oh, you can make it like an earring! So what's the deal now? Sega 
Yay, finally lunchtime! Kana usually goes to lunch with her coworkers, but since she had some work to finish, today she's eating by herself. Damn, look at all these options. I must say, the company has a dope Shine Chokudo. In English, employee cafeteria. It's not free, but definitely a lot cheaper than restaurants outside. All the dishes on the menu today are all under $5. What did you order? White bait fish with half a boiled egg over rice. Looks delicious. So it looks like Kana's still busy at her desk. So while she's doing her thing, let's take advantage of this time and explore a little bit more. On the top floor of the office building, Sega Semi have their shared reception for all of the group companies. It looks like they even have a shop at the Sega office to buy goods. You can buy a Mega Drive, a Nato Block, and even a Ninja Trainer. Nice, free Sega water. And it looks like these are all the client-facing meeting rooms. Cool, each room has its own design and theme. Since we have a little bit more time, let me see if anyone's having a meeting right now. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Hi. What are you guys doing? What does it do? Ah, got it! You can even press the forehead to make it blink and talk, and it also plays music! Oh, it also comes in leopard, unicorn, and fox, all based on what kids think are popular colors and patterns these days. So what's important to consider when making toys like this? So what's next after this? Ooh, can I have a peek? <laughs> Excuse me, what is that? You made this toy? So it's a toy laptop with a popular Japanese character, Sumiko Gurashi. In the Japan toy industry, it's considered a top seller when the toy has sold more than 100,000 units. This one launched this year and is already a top seller, so it must be ultra popular. Nice, you can switch characters as well. How long did it take to produce this one? Thank you. Oh, Kana's co worker is doing something. What's that? Where did you get all of this? So, which one do you think is usable? Now she has a meeting with her 3D designer to discuss the design improvements for the next version of Maskook. <laughs> oh, it looks like one of their Hong Kong office staff who manages the factory production is joining via video conference as well. <laughs> Apparently, when designing a toy, it's very important to consider the age of the kids using it, and absolutely imperative that every safety measure is taken to protect their customers, meaning that any new revisions they decide today maintain or even improve safety. As her final task of the day, she writes a daily log of her activities to share with her coworkers. Are you done? Yay, finally done! After work, Kana often has dinner with coworkers, but due to COVID, like many other workers in Tokyo, she goes straight home. Oh damn, it seems like she's pretty good at jisui, cooking at home. Interestingly, the average monthly cost of food for a single Japanese working household is 40,331 yen per month, about $350, so cooking at home is fairly common. So tonight, she has an online nomikai, in English, drinking get-together, with some of her co-workers. These days, this is what a typical night would be like for her. She says she appreciates being able to catch up with her co-workers outside of the office, as well as see what everyone else is eating at home. 
So it looks like Kana is going to be here with her co-workers until 11 o'clock drinking and then after that probably go to sleep around midnight. But that's pretty much a day in the life of a Japanese toy maker. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you guys want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account if you want to help support the channel. Then check out the Japan merch and if you guys have any questions about Japan or Japan travels, check out my Discord community. Finally, if you want to see more videos like this or day in the life videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.